Well, we just got back from Idaho with the trailer, so I'm yet to clean it. It's all nice and salty. The Duramax over there. I hope you guys have been enjoying my 2002 Chevy Duramax videos. If you have, subscribe here to the channel because I have more of that content coming up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Nate. I'm here to help enhance your vehicle ownership. And uh, if you haven't watched my Duramax videos, jump back onto my channel, go watch those because today I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel. Today I'm introducing to you my most recent purchase. Uh, <laughs> I now have seven vehicles at the time of this video. Hopefully I have a few less by the time you guys are actually watching this. This is becoming such a bad habit and a problem and uh, there's only two of us and we can't drive all these vehicles. Actually, uh, I always have a reason behind purchasing these vehicles, which I'm going to explain today in today's video. So without further ado, I introduce to you my new purchase. This is my 2009 Nissan Murano. It has 190 some thousand miles on it, and yes, it is very dirty. I wanted to film this video today for you guys because I have not done anything with the car at all. We literally went and got it about three weeks ago, drove it home from Cody and parked it. And uh, it's been sitting here ever since because we've been in Idaho. Now that we're back, we've got to go get groceries today, make a little business trip for a business meeting. And uh, since this is a business car, it's what we'll be taking. So it makes recording miles and all that quite a bit easier. Now you're looking at this car thinking <laughs> that is uh, not very clean. I hope you got a really good deal on it. And especially when you see the inside, you're gonna think, I hope you really got a good deal on it. But this SUV is perfect for what we're going to be using it for. It's got chrome door handles. Open it up, you can immediately tell that this car has seen a lot of love. It's got a lot of miles on it, especially <laughs> for this year. So lots and lots of wear and tear. I'm gonna try shampooing the seats and uh, the carpet's actually in better condition than the seats, but I think I'm gonna try cleaning them up as well. I'm gonna get some floor mats put in here because it is going to be a work vehicle. And uh, just, you know, I'm gonna try cleaning it up the best I can. I'm not really gonna put a whole lot of money and time into this car. The back seats as well, I've got a ladder back here, so I apologize for that, but there you are. They're really filthy, really, really dirty. This car is, of course, you know, in near perfect condition, otherwise, uh, otherwise the cosmetics, and I think it's missing a few pieces of trim here and there, and it's got some dents and dings, so, you know, it's, just, it's my kind of car. Gosh, that wind is killing me, so I'm sitting inside the car. Um, besides this car being very dirty, having a few dents and dings and scratches, and I think it's missing a trim piece here on the driver's side door, it's actually in really good condition. Um, it runs impeccably, the CTV shifts exactly, the C what did I just say? The CVT shifts exactly like it should. Everything feels so smooth in this car. It is all wheel drive. I love it. It's going to be perfect for winter driving, perfect on muddy dirt roads, and perfect for putting a lot of miles on out here in Wyoming. And uh, I don't know how much of this I can talk about, but you guys know for my work, I have been doing fiber drops, or we've been putting in the conduit or just the orange pipe that goes in the ground for fiber optic cable. We don't lay the cable, we don't push the cable through the pipe, we don't hook up anybody's houses. We've been doing the fiber drops from the road to the house, 
uh, most of the time. But lately for work this year, we're gonna add kind of an extra segment to the business where we actually do a little bit of like technician type work in people's houses or about out, out and about to their houses. So because of that, I realize that we needed a vehicle that was one a little bit more presentable than you know some old pickup truck with uh, paint falling off to something that got better fuel mileage because we're going to be putting a lot of miles uh, on the car or for I guess this business purpose and uh, three I wanted something that still had enough space to be able to carry tools and a bunch of supplies and then finally I wanted something that I didn't really care about if it got dinged up a little bit or if it got dirty on the inside. So this car is absolutely perfect for what I was hoping for. It is already dirty and filthy on the inside, which we will be cleaning up. Subscribe because those cleaning videos are coming very soon to the channel. And uh, something that was already, you know, a little bit dinged and scratched up on the outside. And that's because I didn't want to pay a ton of money for a vehicle that I'm going to be putting, you know, 20,000 miles on in a year. We're going to be putting a lot of miles on this vehicle, unfortunately. This already has high miles. It's at like 190 something. It's already somewhat dirty on the inside. It, it's actually really bad. It's not the worst I've seen, but it's really bad. He must have had messy kids or something. And uh, something that's already got some dings and scratches on the outside. This car does have a few scratches. There's some up by the front headlight. Driver's door is missing some trim, and then there's some in the back and on this side. So, it, it's not bad though. It looks presentable. The car's really filthy on the outside and dirty right now, so you're probably thinking, what am I thinking? But uh, I'm going to clean it up today. I'm going to do some work on the outside. This car is going to look really presentable, but it's still older and has higher miles, and I'm not going to care so much if something happens to it, which I still don't want, you know, any new scratches or dings or dents or rips on the interior. But... If they happen, I'm not going to feel as bad about it as I would on something newer and nicer or something nicer with lower miles. Now, this SUV is all-wheel drive, and it's got the V6. However, it should average about 26 to 27 miles to the gallon on the highway, which is fine because it's more comfortable to drive around with uh, plenty of power, not to mention that it's winter time still, and we haven't really got a ton of snow this year. But it's, uh, it's January, and we still have February, March coming up. So I wanted something with all-wheel drive for winter driving. Plus, around here, a lot of what we work on are dirt roads. So I wanted something that would be better, a little bit higher off the ground for dirt and muddy roads as well. Plus the SUV part, I need something that I can put tools into, store a lot of things. And one of the biggest tools we had was a ladder. So my initial thought process behind this ladder was roof racks and fitting some sort of secure ladder type holder thing up there, which this car has, but uh, then we discovered and decided on getting the more expensive fold-up ladders to put inside the vehicle here. So uh, they might fit across like a backseat in a car or something, but an SUV with all of the other junk that we're gonna be taking around is perfect for that as well. Now we're only gonna have one or two people going out at a time in this vehicle so there's still plenty of space up here and then we got the third row if you know we have a, a meeting or something and then we, of course we have the back seat as well to store or not the back seat but then we have the back of the car to store a whole bunch of stuff and tools as well so i'm super excited for what i found it's absolutely perfect because i didn't want to spend a ton of money on this and i purchased this 09 nissan murano for under three thousand dollars which is uh you know i don't feel like i got a steal of a deal on this vehicle with the work that's needed but i definitely didn't pay full price or book price on it either so i'm just super excited about it i'm super excited to see what happens with it i'm super excited to do some more videos on this vehicle so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel because you guys are missing out if you're brand new welcome subscribe to the channel jump back on my channel and check out my o2 duramax videos you're not going to want to miss them either uh, this next year i'm excited for it i don't know what's going to happen 2020 was a ride it was a roller coaster i can't believe that i went from a good job in idaho um, to coming back to wyoming and being self-employed temporarily i don't know what's going to happen 
with the future but for this year we're gonna be here we're gonna be working hard we're gonna be grinding and I'm gonna get gonna be getting videos out to you guys so subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram link down below get out enjoy your automotive ownership and I'll catch you in the next video